I will now show you how to code text documents. Let me start with a PDF document. Let me zoom in a little bit more so that you can see this better. So I will select a segment. I will right click on it. Coding. Code in vivo, which means that the segment that you select, that is used to create the code. Or in other words, the word, uh, the code that will be created will be named with the uh, words that you selected in the text. I will show that to you in a few minutes. Enter code names means that you are going to create a new code, uh, writing the name, the name of that code right there. Select codes from a list means that you will be uh, using a, a code or a set of codes that has already been created. Those codes are all in a list. And last use codes means that you are going to be coding with the code that was used, you know, right before. Uh, and quick coding on top means the same thing. So now I will select enter code names. And I will say that, uh, let's say, uh, low use of contraceptives. And a code was created. You see that on the margin, always horizontal, attached to a quotation. The quotation always shown as, as a vertical bar. You right click on that code edit comment and you will you will define the code save and close that window uh, let me now go to another another segment and what i will do now is show you the uh, the, the the in vivo coding so i will select this particular uh, segment over here right click on it coding in vivo and as you will see uh, the code that was created uh, was named using exactly the words of the segment that I selected so that is in vivo coding and and really it follows that it can only be used this procedure can only be used uh, with uh, uh, text documents. You cannot use it with graphic, audio, or video documents because those documents do not uh, do not uh, uh, have text, right? Okay. Now there is another way for you to select uh, segments in PDF documents. Just pay attention to this. I am placing the cursor right at the beginning, and then I am moving uh, the mouse to the right. See? So I am about to select or to create really a, a text quotation in this PDF. However, if I place the cursor a little bit farther away and then I left click and select a segment, you will notice that the segment that I'm selecting looks different. You see that? That means that I have or I am about to create a, uh, a, a an image quotation. Right click, let's create an image quotation here. That is an image quotation. If you wanted to code it, you would select code it. Uh, but but I just want you to see the difference between these two kinds of quotations in, in PDF documents. A text, look at how it looks, and an image. Now, when you have PDF documents that are text documents, then uh, it does not make sense for you to select the segment as an image. Right. However, uh, there are PDF documents that, um, although they do include text, uh, they are really images. They are not really text PDFs. Well, in that case, you don't have a choice and you will always select uh, the segment as an image. Uh, all right. Now I am going to go to a, uh, a Word document. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit over there. I will select a segment and now Instead of right-clicking and coding, I, I am going to use the, 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 the options on top. 
And here, the same options that you saw on the right side in the context menu, they are listed above. Uh, create the free quotation, code in vivo, list a uh, coding, or select a code from a list of existing codes. Open coding, you are going to create a new code. Quick coding, which is code with the last used code. And automatic coding, I am going to talk about that in another video. Uh, so let me select open coding here, and I'm going to create two codes, history, history of community health uh, centers, as well as funding of community health centers. Create. You will place the cursor on each one of these codes, edit comment, and you are going to define the code right so so it's a good idea to be systematic in doing that right away even though even those uh, though those uh, those definitions may vary with time that's fine uh, but you should start right away define the code okay now let me uh, let me see uh, i am going to go to another document and I will select a segment, and this time I will I will uh, create or not create, but I'm going to use a code that already ex exists in my list of codes. So I will right click coding uh, codes or select codes from list, and I will select the list from the list, right? Either one or more than one. And OK. And the codes have been attached to this quotation. You will notice that the codes has a, uh, each one has a symbol on the left side, and, and there is a kind of a yellow little icon there. Uh, that means that you have written already a comment on that code. In other words, that code is already defined. OK? All right, I'm going to go to another document. I'm going to select the segment here. And instead of right-clicking coding, I will go to the top, list coding, and do the same thing, select from the list, one or more than one. And let me do this with the last one. I will select a segment, and this time I will also code from codes that I have already created, uh, but in this case, Instead of right-clicking or selecting codes from the top, I will simply uh, uh, select codes from the Explorer, or also known as the Navigator window on the right side, uh, on the left side. My apologies. Uh, so here you will you will look for your list of codes, open the list with by clicking on the triangle, and then I will. I will um, select the code of my choice, drag and drop. And that, that's it. Now I have coded uh, that segment uh, by making use of the list of codes that I see on the left side. Thank you, and in the next videos I will be talking with you about coding other kinds of documents. Thank you.